packed up, heading out to WindyCon. See y'all there. Hello, hello everyone. I wanted to talk to y'all about my experience at WindyCon this past weekend. And for those of y'all that don't know, WindyCon is a sci-fi and fantasy convention that caters largely to authors and RPG creators. Neil Litherland and I attended this convention together and we had a magnificent booth set up. It was the last Last convention of 2022 for me and it went really awesome. It had a smaller turnout than I was hoping for but a big part of that is conventions are still recovering from the pandemic and I expect that to continue into the near future so just an important thing to keep in mind if you're considering joining onto the con circuit. I'm really excited to see what 2023 will bring but for now I'm just so grateful for all of the amazing support, well as for the new connections and new friends that I made this year at WindyCon. I was on several panels that were really fantastic, and one person in particular that I met was Mary Ann. She is an amazing author. She especially thrives in the cooking arena, making more vegan slanted cookbooks. I looked her up on her social media and she has a lot of great stuff on there with all her cooking stuff and she also has a lot of really cool art especially fabric on spoon flour. So it's just really awesome the different people that you can meet at a convention. You never know who might be a new friend or a new connection. So always make sure that you are at some level putting yourself out there and welcoming those new connections. Of course, I had a magnificent time with Neil. For those of y'all that don't know, Neil is my partner and we celebrated our one year anniversary at WindyCon. We went to Buca de Beppo and had a delicious meal together. All packed up and leaving Windy Con, y'all. Last con of the year, completed. It's all full back there. <laughs> I want to thank everybody for all the awesome support at WindyCon this year, for all the great panels. Oh my god, it was so fun. And big thank you to my partner, Neil. Yay! I can't do it without him. All right, y'all, I'll see you at Con Life next year. Stay tuned for the 2023 schedule. <laughs> It was just all the more special and magical that this convention is our anniversary day, which is just so proper for a pair of authors. And I'm just so grateful that he is there to help and support me during this process. And I was aware of my growing limitations physically at this convention, but I feel like I had a much better balance of going for it and going to the parties and networking, as well as making some time for rest and ensuring that I was taking care of myself. And a big part of that was also because of Neil, him just looking after me. So slowly but surely getting in line with my limitations and this brave new world that is me and i'm just so thrilled to announce that succumb to darkness will be released in 2023 i don't have a date yet for that we're still very much in the process of getting this in creation final edits cover art all that jazz so more to come on that but i'm just so excited that this is finally going to be a book i'm finally going to be able to get this out there for y'all so so of course I was pimping it out at WindyCon, letting people know of this imminent release, and of course making sure that my other books got some love and attention. Just always love hearing from my readers and my fans at these conventions, new or old, who tell me that they enjoy my books, what they enjoy about them, how they inspired them, just all of that. Not even from an ego or pride perspective, just purely from the standpoint of 
that I love creating stories and it just brings me so much joy to know that my stories bring joy and inspiration to others as well. So being able to get that feedback is so crucial to my process as an author and having that opportunity at conventions is absolutely amazing. As I said, I was on several great panels, one of which was the biology of fantasy creatures, which was kind of funny because I was on that same panel at Worldcon. Of course, no two panels are the same, so there was a lot of new stuff that was discussed on the panel at WindyCon. It was so much fun. I have so much respect for the other people that I was on the panel with. And that's the best part about panels is when you learn new things. Even being a panelist on the panel yourself learning new things. So really grateful for that. I'm really looking forward to seeing where 2023 takes me. I will definitely be doing WindyCon again next year. We heard some information from the grapevine that WindyCon will be moving to a new location in the near future. We simply hope that it won't be too far and that it will be accessible since that has become a major challenge for me. So we'll see what the future holds in particular for WindyCon, but the future for me definitely holds more conventions in 2023, more books that are going to be newly released, and we'll see what else the future has in store for us. Hopefully good things. So I want to thank y'all so much for watching. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a like, and if you're new, subscribe. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.